Okay, it's important that this cutter run true in the all tool rota ducts. And it is running one half thousandths off. I'm going to bring it to the high spot. I'm going to take this wrench and pull down on it slightly and give it a tap. Let's see how it did. Uh, might have been a little too much, huh? So I'm going to pull down on it again. I'd use my fingers, but that cutter is sharp. Let's see how that did. Uh, it's better. Let me pull that down a little bit. ever so lightly. It's better, oh, it's still, a, still about a half. Now I got a full thousandths. I think I need to maybe snug it just a little bit more on the collet, but I'll give it a, just a little bit of a... Back to a half. I just got it really not... <laughs> it's like that sometimes. That's still half off. I'm moving that around. The error, I might have to try a different call it. It's better than a half thousandths. I'm going to call it good. Okay, I'll be back on another angle. Okay, it's a little bit awkward here, but I think I can do it. I think I need like several hands. Okay, I got a handle over here that I'm positioning. And we're gonna start grinding. Okay, I wanna get that, uh, make sure I'm clear, looking good. Okay, I'm gonna start feeding that in. Looking for some sparks. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I am. There we are. Okay. Uh, I got some interfering here a little bit. There we go. 
Okay, I'm gonna set it on zero. I got a grit this uh, five sixteenths. <laughs> in the last video, I kept calling it three sixteenths, but I tend to do that sometimes. Beat it in a couple thousandths here. Okay, I'm going to get it uh, close to 290 thousandths. There we go. Yeah, I'm just feeding it in about uh, 2 thousandths at a time. You don't want to get in a hurry uh, around a tool and cutter grinder. Try not to bump the camera. Okay. I'll keep going here. reason it's not really moving very very smoothly okay feed it another two you see I just got a narrow band on the right side of that wheel I dressed the left side down there's only three sixteenths of an inch of that wheel contacting this uh, end mill. Okay, I'm going to give it a quick check. If I can get it over. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to almost set the end of the travel on the left side. Now I got a uh, disc micrometer. Just uh, two thousandths to go. And this should do it. exactly where I want to be. Okay, we'll get over to the jig board next. See you there. Okay, this is what's up. So, I'm taking the left case locations for those dowel pins and transferring them over to the right hand case. And I have to make an oversized end. So the dowel pins will be two diameters, about one quarter on um, one end and about 0.290 on the other end. And I'll have to custom make those. I'll make them out of drill rod. So I got this cutter in an adjustable chuck and I have it running better than a half thousandths. This chuck has these adjusters like a, like an adjust true lathe chuck, but this is a collet chuck. Uh, people are doing this kind of stuff with ER collets on the little uh, 
where are those things? Little mini lights and stuff like that. So I got it dialed in and I'm going to sink that down for that uh, larger diameter, thus correcting the uh, offset of the doubt pins. Okay, I'm going to run the machine for about 10, oh, 15 minutes and uh, I'll be back. <laughs> 